multiracial, multi-ethnic, and multi-life form, it took a united effort to crew the Starship Enterprise. The creators of Star Trek knew that if humans are to someday explore the universe, we would need to put aside our differences, because to boldly go on behalf of all humankind would truly require an international partnership. Star Trek showed us what an inclusive, diverse future could look like. Just look at the bridge of the Enterprise. Different races and species working together in peace for a common cause. We had Lieutenant Uhura, we had Sulu, we had Chekhov, we had Vulcan. <laughs> we had everyone cooperating for one goal. The Starship Enterprise was a metaphor for Starship Earth. And the strength of the Starship lay in its diversity coming together and working as a team. Star Trek was a refuge. It was a place that we wanted to believe in, that we wanted to believe would, would someday happen. That was how we could be, and now we're actually living that on the International Space Station. The International Space Station is this incredible laboratory in space. It is a place that allows scientists from all over the world to do scientific research. That can lead to these amazing and surprising discoveries that couldn't have been made anywhere else. More than anything else is an exercise in international cooperation. There are Russians, Japanese, Americans, uh, Europeans, and Canadian astronauts. And over 96 countries have participated in some aspect of the space station. Our cultures are so different. At the same time, we are so similar because our desire, our pulses is all the same. So it's kind of a weird place where politics doesn't visibly play a role. There's peaceful use of space. But the big benefit of collaborating together is, of course, that we're advancing our science together as a whole, and that people around the world, not just in one country, get the benefits of the research results. Seeing our differences as an asset, that's our strength. Together, we can accomplish things we never thought we could. Star Trek, at the time, it was about possibilities and the things that we could become and we could do in the future. And that was a very inspiring message, you know, that all races and religions and national origins, we could, we could all work together. The show really served as an inspiration, not just for our nation, but for the next generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers. People always ask me, yeah, you know, as a black female, did you ever think you could be a part of this? And it never dawned on me that I couldn't because I saw these models of, you know, like Star Trek. We were talking about a future where people could get along. I think that was, that was ultimately our, our greatest gift to the culture. Leave any bigotry in your quarters. There's no room for it on the bridge. Do I make myself clear? You do, sir. <laughs> Well, if we want to go further beyond what we have achieved now, we are going to need a global effort. We can use that partnership to leverage the way that humankind will explore beyond Earth orbit. To the moon, to Mars, beyond Mars, out into the world of what we think now is science fiction. And who knows, from there, only imagination is going to be the limit. The human animal is an adventurous animal. And it's sure there are risks involved but we boldly take those risks and hunger for that information, that knowledge that lies out there. That's the great human adventure. We are curious creatures. Who knows how far into the universe we'll eventually travel or what strange new worlds humanity will someday explore, but you can be sure that when we do, it'll be united as citizens of Earth for all humankind.